Our first guest tonight is a very funny Emmy and Grammy award-winning person with a new album, and it's called Look at My Butt Crack. <laughs> that is really what it, Wasn't that the title of Barbara Bush's autobiography? <laughs> Anyway, it's available now on iTunes, and you can see her live October 24th and 25th in Greenville and Columbia, South Carolina. Please say hello to Kathy Griffin. to not be Jennifer Aniston. Look. What? You with the big stars. I knew when you you when you're doing the sports at K-Rock, and now it's Aniston this and Oprah this. I'm on to you, mister. Mr. High and Mighty, I knew you I bet they would be friends with you, too. If okay, when are we you... doing the Suddenly Susan reunion with the Suddenly Susan uh, kitchen with Brooke Shields? Okay. Well... Isn't, but isn't it true that Brooke Shields won't speak to you anymore? Um, yes. Yes, well, and that's going to be a problem. But well, you know what? If Brooke wants to come, we will absolutely do a Suddenly Susan Reed. Look, I have never been in a classier phase of my career, and as is evidenced by... Go ahead, hold uh, on. Your, your title of your... It's my album. Album. Well, I have a comedy album. You know, it's a weird thing, because we made this, um, yeah. so I had something to hold up and show everybody, right. but it's a download. It's a digital download. Look, yes? I don't... I don't know what you and your Britney Spears uh, posse talk. It's something, it used to be a CD, and now it's, I guess it's a download. I saw Katy Perry at the VMAs saying her single was going live. I guess my ass crack is going live. Okay. <laughs> now, has your, <laughs> has, your, uh, has your mother seen this, and what does she think of it? Um... Light Brooke Shields, my mother is not speaking to me. Is that right? Yeah, okay, let me just tell you about the game that your beloved 94-year-old Maggie Griffin is playing. At first, I, she's, as you know, halfway through a box of wine as we speak. Yeah. And don't encourage that. I feel like you think it's cute. <laughs> it is cute. Really? At 94, she can drink as many boxes of wine as she wants, she, I think. She can make a Manhattan in under 30 seconds. Really? Yes. <laughs> oh. It's not so like she, she's driving, right? I mean, it's no, probably No, 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 she's okay. only driving me crazy. Okay. She's not actually <laughs> driving. So she's very shocked at my CD album download going live whatever cover. And at the same time, she's hammered all day. I went to her freaking retirement village yesterday, which is like, by the way, if you've ever been to one of these retirement villages, it's a very, like, like prison gang girl mentality. <laughs> Oh, these 94-year-olds will shake you in the elevator and ask questions later. So I think my mom is in, like, a mean girl posse, and she's like the Shannon Doherty. Oh, really? And, uh, <laughs> or like, like the Heathers. She's like a Heathers, basically. Oh, really? Like, yeah, and so um, so anyway, <laughs> she, she disapproves of that very much. And then we were having a nice meal, enjoying each other's company, or so I thought. And then she said, um, you know, I never said this to you, Kathleen. And I thought, this is it. She's going to say, I'm so proud of you, what you've accomplished, the way you've been able to help me. And then she said, I've always wanted to be called Deidre. <laughs> so Wait so I'm minute. sitting there. She's in the retirement village. The other bitches are at the door like, get out here. We're going to a luau. And I swear to God, she kicked me out of the retirement village. She was putting on a grass skirt and a flower, no. going to a luau on the roof in her retirement village. And she kept saying, my new name is Deidre, and I'm going to a luau, so you got to go because we're having fire dancers. <laughs> so I don't know how hard you guys think you party, but 94-year-old... Maggie. Deidre. Deidre. Oh, sorry. Deidre is on a rooftop dancing with fire dancers. And I said, do you even think they're documented workers? And she said, I don't give a crap. <laughs> wow. So I'm the a-hole. Wow. I don't see, I don't know what's happened. Wow. Yeah, so you know she's not going to be in favor of the ice bucket challenge. Yeah, oh, because yeah, Because I yeah. did a version, even though her beloved... Susie Orman, financial guru, um, challenged me. Yeah. Like many other Hollywood D-bags. Because I am... No, I'm 
sorry. Obviously, ALS is a great cause, but enough with the celebrities. In one day, I had, you know, a Backstreet Boy, Aubrey Plaza from Parks and Recreation, uh, photographer Tyler Shields, who did that awesome nudie, naughty picture, uh, Margaret Cho, our friend, and uh, Susie Orman, financial wizard, all challenged me to the ice bucket challenge. It's crazy. And then what happens is you do it, and people keep challenging you. It's like, am I supposed to do it again now? Yeah. It's it would never be nice enough. if they paid a little bit of attention to see that I have already done it. No, they're very demanding, people, with the challenge. And I didn't know about the 24-hour window. So yeah. when I was challenged, I was actually working in New York. And I thought, I can't just, like, trash a hotel room like you do, like when you go on the road. <laughs> so you and me Oprah and Anna. Me and Deirdre. Yeah, you and Deirdre <laughs> with your fire dance. Why Deirdre, probably... by the way? What? I look. I love that you're asking my 94-year-old alcoholic mother a logical question. But, but did you ask her? Of course I asked her. And? She says, none of your damn business. <laughs> and when they're 94, you can't beat them. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, you can't, like, the Dateline camera. You're you right. Can, you can't do it anymore. Can't. Times have changed. You can't and you, you shouldn't. You can't beat your parents anymore. Yeah, you can't. I miss it. I, I do. feel like I, I derailed you from your, your ranting. You were ranting what? against um, helping ALS. Well, yeah. of course, it's... Well, that's a great quote. <laughs> Kathy Griffin showed up to rant against helping ALS. <laughs> I'm just saying that, of course, you want to have maybe a unique hook if you're going to do the damn challenge. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I just thought it was ironic that Susie Orman, of all people, and by the way, when she challenged me, she did it on Twitter, she was in the Caribbean, where it's nice and warm as, you know, bathwater anyway, and she just randomly challenged me to do it naked. And so then I called your team of professionals. Yes, And, yes. boy, they jumped at it. They yeah. had no... Nobody from any kind of legal department said, Miss Griffin, this isn't appropriate. Um, I believe I said I would be using full bush. Um, I believe you did, yeah. I believe you did say that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and um, and then I was assured by one of your producers it would be very discreet, and maybe one camera person would come over that would sign all kinds of documents saying it would be private. Next thing you know, the doorbell rings. There's like 15 people from your crew, probably uh -huh. half of them going to your football parties, <laughs> and uh, they had like craft service with them and like snacks and waters and like two cameras. Yeah, a yeah. lot of guys with hairy chests saying, "Where's the bathroom?" You know, wouldn't you be? In, wouldn't you have been offended if? A whole bunch of people didn't show up after you announced you were going to be diving naked into a, a bucket of water yeah, or whatever. Yeah, I've been offended. Okay. I'll be honest. You got me. You got All right, me. Yeah. Absolutely. So when we come back, we're going to show the fruits of your labor. And my fruits. And your fruits as well. <laughs> and they'll all be there on display. Kathy Griffin is here. We'll be right back. Hopefully your mom is not watching right now. That is uh, her new... Uh, it's on iTunes. It's a digital yes. download. It's an album. It's I don't know what your kids call it. Just buy That's it. That's what Britney Spears and I call it, yes. <laughs> it's uh, called Look at My Butt Crack. And it is... I hope you get nominated for Grammy for this one. I am I liked desperate it. to be not. I am the current Grammy winner as for Best Comedy Album. I finally won after six years in a row being nominated. <laughs> and... And so I'm hoping this gets nominated, but I do, I'm going to be honest. We've been talking about my mom, newly named uh, Deidre. And um, you were saying that normally girls change their names at what age? At like 11 or 12, then they go like, oh, I wish my name was... Not you know. at 94 when they're drunk? Not usually, no, no. All right. <laughs> well, I'm going to be honest, though. We've been talking about my mom a lot, and she's not watching. She um, thinks the show is on way too late. Yeah, well, that makes sense. And yeah. she was wondering if you could do the show at about 3.15. <laughs> <laughs> you know, somewhere around Judge Judy. <laughs> you gotta get her a DVR of some kind. Do you ever take her out of the house? Of course. She loves going to... Are you kidding? Napa Valley and wineries. Oh. Any place where there's booze, Deidre will get on the rascal. <laughs> Deidre will get on her hurricane or her walker with her tennis balls. Yeah, she's all about it. Very mobile. Okay, good. But I will say that she does live in this retirement village that is awesome. And it's got these alert buttons on the wall near the rug so when she passes out, <laughs> I mean, falls. 
when she falls. And I swear to God, there's this one woman who lives in her building named Agnes, and I swear to God, she's about 50, but she must have slipped him like an extra 20 bucks. And it's a great place to live. I cannot wait to live. I, first of all, I can't wait to be incontinent. That's going to be, oh, it's going to be fun and easy. But my mom's retirement village, they do everything for her. It's like three hots in a cot. It's like a really cool prison. And they feed her. And there's a lot of activities. And I do take her out. Like, I actually, um, I've actually taken her to, like, concerts and award shows. And I'm, I'm just going to oh, say, really? at 94 years old, maybe not always uh, the most appropriate things come out of her mouth, which oh. is why it's ridiculous that I offend her. So <laughs> this is just going to sound funny, but recently she had the chance to meet my friends uh, T.I. and ASAP Rocky. <laughs> I swear to God, she met T.I. and ASAP Rocky. And she called them both Nat King Cole. And... <laughs> Wait a minute. I, you know, I can see maybe one, but they, how can they both be Nat King Cole? Because she's 94 and drunk, Jimmy. That's <laughs> why. And I was so freaked out because I was, like, apologizing to T.I. and ASAP, and he was at my house, and, like, his hype man was there, and they were smoking weed. And I'm like, I'm so... <laughs> That's, I guess, a different story. But anyway, yeah. anyway, my mom's like, I just love you, Mr. King Cole. And I'm like, oh, no, his name is ASAP. And she's like, ASAP? That's an abbreviation. And I, I thought the guys would be upset with her. And they were like, oh, Maggie. And they were hugging. They thought she was adorable by calling them. That's Maggie. marijuana for you. Well, <laughs> inappropriate. <laughs> inappropriate. All right, so let's, uh, your video. We've got your video. Yeah. Uh, recap again. Who challenged you? Okay, so you? first of all, a uh, financial guru and friend Susie Orman challenged me to do it naked. And uh, I swear the same day, Aubrey Plaza from Parks and Rec, Agent McClain from the Backstreet Boys, photographer Tyler Shields, comedian Margaret Cho, all on one day, I didn't know how to handle it. I thought I should take it up a notch. And, and you certainly did. Okay. Great. Hey, everybody. Okay, Susie Orman, I decided to take you up on the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge and do it naked. I don't really know why you wanted me to be naked for this but anything for the cause and i'm gonna keep my shoes on i'm sorry but i'm a classy lady so i insist on keeping my shoes on Ugh. i'm naked i also invited two friends who also challenged me from the backstreet boys aj mclean hello beautiful hi <laughs> from parks and recreation aubrey plaza Hey, what's up? All right, so you douchebags also nominated me, so go ahead and do it. Ready? One, two, three. Oh! 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 <laughs> what are you doing that for? Oh, I did it. You know what? Now I issue a challenge to AJ McClain for the Kathy Griffin Pool Challenge. <laughs> yeah. Got him. Stamped out ALS. F you, ALS. <laughs> and Aubrey and Kathy Griffin, everybody. This is her album. It's called Look at My Butt Crack. First year alive in South Carolina, October 24th and 25th. Thank you, Kathy. We'll be right back.